months. All right, guys. Here's the really important section. I feel the most important part of this entire guide right here. PvP tips. Now, you could go out there and try to PvP on your own and try to learn things the slow way. But I'll tell you right now that... Uh, that's going to be tough and you're going to learn a lot of lessons the hard way and you might not even learn stuff. So um, this is the important section for you guys. All right. So have bandages is this one. Uh, make sure you're aware of your positioning. Don't be in melee range. Try to be far away from people. Try to LOS when you can when you don't want people to cast stuff on you. I don't know what the hell this means, but basically have enough soul shards, right? Have, have enough to be casting all your spells without worrying about, oh man, I need to conserve my soul shards. No man, this is PvP. This is war. You need to be ready. You need to have a bag full of soul shards. Destroy your hearthstone. Use that slot for a freaking soul shard. Okay? This is serious business. Try to bait, kick, and other interruptible you know, stuff. Okay? So, um, what I don't know. Like, slam? Is that is that an interrupt? Shield slam? Basically, kick, shield slam, counter spell... Those are going to interrupt you from Schools of Magic for 8 seconds if you are caught in a cast when that happens, okay? So you need to make sure that doesn't happen. What you do is you start casting your spell and then stop. Force yourself to stop. You know, just strafe left or right or jump, whatever. I wouldn't jump. I'd just strafe. Like tap, 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 strafe. Interrupts the spell. They use kick. You go back to casting. Their cooldown is wasted. That's what this says, okay? Um, I mean... Any, any, any well geared anything can be hard to take down. Um, we're just they're just basically talking about how awesome warlocks are right here, which they are really awesome. Um, I don't know how to know when someone uses this, but uh, freaking walk of shame here, guys. I just realized that like I casted a fear on someone and then it got reflected back at me, and this is why the ultra flash shadow reflector. Um, there's probably some animation. I'll look it up and get back to you guys. But be aware that people can reflect shadow spells, and that's going to be pretty bad if they do. Uh, Curse of Tongues is fantastic. I would use it on shamans, because they cannot dispel it. And priests, shadow priests, they cannot dispel it either. Of course, a lot of, I mean, mages and druids are the two can that can dispel curses, so of course use those on the appropriate classes, including warlocks. But in particular, elemental shamans and shadow priests are susceptible. Okay, items and consumables. You've got the FAP, free action potion, uh, very popular in PvP. You've got the LIP, limited invulnerability potion. Uh, basically, it is going to make you invulnerable. Resist physical loss of control effects like blind scatter shot. Very cool. Um, that's very cool. But I mean, it also makes you immune to physical attacks. It's like a blessing of protection, if you know what that is. It's, it's a good ability. Uh, consumables, large rope net. I don't know even where you get this, but yeah, this one you have to grind rep with the furbolgs, I think. Yeah, to get that flash bomb, causes all beasts to run away. Uh, pretty good against feral druids or to scare away a hunter's pet. Cannot use it on a bestial wrath hunter's pet, FYI. Keep that in mind, my friends. How we doing, guys? How we doing? Still with me, there's a lot of info in this guide. Again, it's going to be in the description below if you want to go peruse this yourself on your own time. Uh, and while we're here, just going to go ahead and remind you to smash that like button if you're enjoying this guide. If you want more like it, subscribe. And with that said, let's get back to the guide. So next up, we've got the Gnomish Rocket Boots. These are really, really fun. It's going to increase your run speed for 20 seconds. It's actually quite a long time. You're going to go flying. Um, nifty stopwatch. I actually have this, and uh, I've got to say, it is super nifty. It has gotten me out of a lot of tight uh, situations, out of quite a few pinches. Uh, and, and, you know, Warlocks have really no movement speed increases, so this nifty stopwatch is fantastic. Um, charge the enemy. It stuns them. Silly for 30 seconds. Really, really awesome. Um, I've seen it used. Uh, in battlegrounds to just essentially sap someone, right? And then you've got the shadow reflector, flame reflector, and ice reflector. These are all really awesome. Um, I dare someone to get a video of of like you reflecting upon pyro. You know what's crazy? I've been playing WoW for like so many months and months now with classic WoW, and I haven't seen anyone palm pyro. 
Is it just not popular anymore? Can someone can someone tell me why Palm Pyro isn't popular anymore? That was just like so cool. You like, and then boom, you just see this giant fireball come, and then you're dead, and then that's that's it. But I haven't seen it, and it would be awesome to see someone reflect a Palm Pyro back at the caster. That would be literally hilarious. Furbolg Medicine Pouch. Pretty good. It's going to restore 1,000 health over 10 seconds. Could be useful. Skull of Impending Noom. Uh, very useful speed bonus. Allow you to flee or wait out a control effect. Because it hurts you and drains your mana. So if you see someone casting Polymorph, you have no trinket, you have no way of avoiding it. Pop your Skull of Impending Doom and you cannot be CC'd by anything that gets broken by taking damage. Which includes Repentance, Sheep. Uh, fear in some cases, and tangling roots. Chance to get broken, guys, okay? Okay, don't come at me. Alright, Spider Belt. This is going to remove existing immobilizing effects and make you immune to immobilizing effects for five seconds. Pretty useful. I don't know what the hell this is, um, but in English, I do know what this is. This is going to stun someone for three seconds. It's actually amazing. Um, I don't know why this is in freaking French, but uh, it's, it's in Arathi Basin, Right south of Stromgard, there's a Naga, rare spawn. It's going to be hard to get. His name is Prince Nazjak, as you can see down there. Um, basically, he, uh, you, you kill him, he has a 0.31 chance to drop, apparently. Uh, I think it's higher than that, but I don't know. Um, this is a really awesome trinket. It's a ranged 3-second stun that you just have in your pocket. 15-minute cooldown, but you just stun people. Makes, it gives the Warlock summoning effect on you and a splash of water on them. It's really cool. Some hardcore PvPers I see have this trinket. And, I mean, a three-second stun guy's in your pocket. How cool is that? Really, really awesome. Lincoln's Boomerang has a chance to stun or disarm, dude. Like, this is really good. <laughs> Regret of mine. I freaking sold my Lincoln's Boomerang because I, I was like, oh, I'll never use this. Uh, sell. So, with that out of the way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this guide. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep talking about Warlocks from Classic and uh, in the Burning Crusade when that comes out because I absolutely love World of Warcraft and I love talking to you guys about World of Warcraft. So, with that being said, that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Uh -huh.